How's it going everybody, Dr. Ray? And we are talking about starting an image in Adobe Photoshop. All right, so I clicked File, New, File, New. File New brings up this window. Now before you start an image, you need to know what your end goal is with the image so that you can, when you configure all these settings, they're actually configured correctly. So the first thing we have on the top of the screen, we have recent, saved, then we have these options of like photo, print, art illustration, web, and all this is really doing is just giving us some like sample, like notice how it changes things in the side here. It's just giving us some ideas. Like if I click mobile and click like iPhone X, which is the newer one, um, not really new, even though this is Adobe 2022, um, or like iPhone 8, it just gives us some sizes and resolution to kind of help us out. I don't really pay attention to this top bar whatsoever because I usually know ahead of time what I'm trying to do. All right, so that brings us all the way over to the right here where we see all these properties, these preset details. So we can give it a name right now. I typically don't do that, but what I do do is I need to decide um, how big my image is gonna be. So I usually typically don't like to use inches. I typically like to use pixels. Um, and I select the size, like 400 by 400. Do I want this to be like an Instagram post, Facebook post, is this a photo? Like, what is it gonna be? I pick my size, my width and my height, as well as my orientation. You can see it flicks around there, but really I'm choosing the width and the height. All right, next important thing, resolution. Now I used to recommend, if you watch any of my old videos, I would recommend like for the web, just picking 150 resolution and for print 300, but I pretty much changed my mind and typically use 300 for everything now. The reason that I do that is monitors have just gotten so much, two reasons. One, monitors are so much better. Like all my monitors are at least 1080p minimum, if not 4K resolution. And the next reason is that I it 300, Pixels per inch does increase the file size, but with internet speeds, we don't really have to pay attention to that too much anymore either. So I typically use 300 pixels per inch all the time. If you wanna be technical, let's just say 150 for the web, 300 for print, but I would just recommend you use 300 all the time and problem solve. You won't run into any issues, and if you wanna print it, hey, it's already at the correct resolution. Next thing, color mode, again, so RGB, the only two color modes I ever use are RGB and CMYK. RGB is for the web. Typically, if I'm using Photoshop, um, usually putting something on the web, I don't really print much, so I'm always using RGB. Um, CMYK is if I was going to print. Um, I would select CMYK because that will match your printer. I typically don't print anything in Photoshop. I usually bring it into Illustrator to print and use CMYK in Illustrator. Um, however, if you were gonna do it in Photoshop, you would select CMYK. And that's it. Those are the only things you really need to focus on in this um, area. But it's very important that you know the width and height because if you choose the wrong width and height, you can probably make your image smaller. But if you make it bigger, it's definitely going to be pixelated. And even smaller, it's going to get pixelated. And you don't want to go back and have to change resolution because that can mess everything up as well. And you need to know your color mode. Once you're ready to begin, you click create and boom, you got an image. So what do we pick? 2100 by 1500, that's ginormous. And 300 resolution, RGB, we click create. And we're going to see a, a file here up on the screen that I can begin to work with. Or I could, you know, file open and open up an image or whatever. But that's how we get ready and begin our image in Photoshop. Later off.